Hello guys, welcome back to some Factorio. Uh, so I've made a couple changes and we're almost done sulfur processing, which is the, um, I've only done two researches, or sorry, one research. I'm trying to find what, what the other one was. I forgot what it was. So we had plastics. I think it was ad advanced electronics. So now we can do advanced circuits. Yeah, that was the one. Uh, and so I'm just finishing sulfur processing because that's like kind of a good one to do, I figure. Um, so that's that. I also did some other changes here because I was bored. Um, I'm actually going to continue making some walls uh, and I'll actually upgrade the machine for that too. So this chest is almost full, but we can put a steel chest actually in there when I get the chance. Um, I fully saturated the copper line, so, well, I didn't fully saturate it, but like, I put more coming into there. I figured that was kind of valuable to do. So, I mean, it's starting to look like it's a little bit full. Um, I mean, that's just kind of the way things work, I guess. I think I should, uh, actually, I think I think I should do something a little bit special with this, actually. So, so far, run's going pretty good. We're gonna do something like that instead, actually. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what we need to be doing. Uh, except not really. Shit. Okay, here, one second. I, I, I got this out of, I, I got this under control. Actually, wait, we go like this. Sorry, it's just some some other things are not working there, so uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of how this needs to be now. So now now this is now fully saturated. Everything's running, everything like that. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is um, the scanners I've put placed on the very left side have been working, and we actually found a we found like a couple uh, coal, iron, iron. So this is going to be probably our first destination because I think, uh, well, obviously we're going to get coal, but in terms of long-range resource acquisition in this game, uh, that's going to be the first place we go is over here. Uh, that's going to be for the, the first thing. Uh, okay, and then next thing, I right up here, I actually made some things for like convenience purposes. So we actually have some lights now uh, that I can use. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these quite yet, but we'll see. Uh, sulfur processing also finished. So I don't know if I'm going to be using them quite yet, but I'll see. I'll see what I feel like. Um, I mean, the lights are nice. Apparently they're bugged right now, so maybe they're not that nice. So that's that's pretty much it for that. So now we can get things like uh, mining productivity, which is a pretty good thing, or inserter bonuses. So we're actually going to go for, I think, inserter bonuses. Okay, so this is stack inserters. Um, so you've been seeing me, I've had fast inserter, I've had like, you know, like regular inserters. Stack inserters basically just put like, like they take like five and then they swing the arm over kind of a thing. And you can actually keep upgrading their capacity through upgrades. So I think it starts at like two or three or something, and then it goes more and more as you research. It's like an, in, well, it's not infinite research. It does eventually end like right here. But the key thing with this research is this right here. So it says non-stack inserter capacity plus one. So your fat, everything in our factory, stack inserters, uh, regular inserters and stuff also get the bonus for a stack inserter. So that's also really good for us to get. I actually might get the tool belt as well because, uh, yeah, let's get the tool belt for first because that's actually a pretty good upgrade. So we're going to do that and we're also going to do stack inserters. So I'm going to increase, like the, the bottom down here is with my tool belt. I'm going to increase the capacity of that. So I also have it making um, assembly machines as well. So I have it making a little bit of everything because uh, I figure that's kind of important. So we're going to take 39 uh, assembly machines just casually like that. Um, and I'm going to actually make something else a little bit uh, good as well. Uh, where is it going to be is a question. So um, I, I want to also make, uh, I want to make some, I want to make some power lines. So the power lines I have are, uh, fucking trash. What's your problem? Uh, this is, you know, this is why we probably need actually some more ammunition upgrades and stuff. Oh, they're, they're, oh, just casually 700 and fucking something ammunition. Okay. We, th this is actually the first thing I'm going to say is I don't need that much ammo. Um, what we do need though is we, I think we need a bit more turrets though. Because when they reach here, it's awful. So we're going to go something like one, two, three, four, 
Yeah, four seems pretty good. So we're gonna make another one here because they attack. They like to attack over here. So I'm trying to debate how to get this thing out of here. Also, how are, how are, okay, our belt situation also isn't very good, so we're gonna just grab that. So I'm thinking here, uh, let's do something like this. So I, I kinda wanna make a place that I can just kind of have fun and Apparently that power line was really not necessary. So we're gonna just have a place like right here and it's gonna make uh, two things. It's gonna make uh, big electric poles and medium electric poles. Uh, both are, are actually really good. This is actually the first time we actually do not need, uh, we, we, we actually don't need any, like, uh, what, what are they called? Uh, we don't need wood for this now, which is excellent for us because we actually hate wood. Uh, we don't, because that, that's the one thing we actually cannot automate. Um, so doing that is also pretty good, and I think I was going to make a steel chest at some point. Oops. So, we want, we don't want it to fill this completely to a max, we just want like one stack of this stuff, so... Uh, that, that solves that basically right there. So these things are still going at, uh, whatever capacity that they can to make ammunition. And whatever makes it to the end makes it to the end, you know, we don't have to really concern ourselves too much. Actually, I didn't even need to split those, so I don't even know why I did that. I'm a silly goose, what can I say? Um, Alright, so that's that's it for that. We don't have to concern ourselves with that anymore. Uh, and, oh yeah, so let's go upgrade the steel chest um, for walls, because we're going to need walls. Because we're going to be building walls. So, I'm not sure if I need more... Uh, I probably don't need more bricks in this. Because by the time we need more bricks, we're going to be definitely probably into this stone patch down here. So, I, that was like, this was like literally like a, what was it, like like 8k worth of, worth of stone and like did not need anything else. It was, it was fine. But yeah, some of these miners are going to start running out as well, like this one too. Eh, that's all good. Uh, okay, so apparently, fair bit of copper here too. One thing that might be nice to do is actually to make some more, uh... We need to make some more shit for, for, for copper, because we kind of need copper, I think. How, much, how many are we missing? Four. Okay, so I'm going to just make four of them. So steel is still kind of an issue. Uh, it, we're, we're eating through it relatively quickly, but, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. We're not going to concern ourselves too much with that. Alright, so these can also now go... I, I put red in, red belts here for some reason, I'm not sure why. Also, I think I have a fix for this, uh, instead of using red belts. Um, so let's let's actually try some science, actually, real, real quick. Because we all love science. So, I think I have the fix for this. Uh, let's just move this slightly further out. So, you see how, like, there's gaps in this, and there really shouldn't be. So I think I have the solution for this. Um... Instead of using uh, instead of using these fast belts, we're gonna try something a bit different. I'm gonna do something like this. Apparently, what you can do, I looked it up, is you can do this. This apparently works somehow. But I still see gaps in it occasionally, so I guess it really doesn't work. Well, actually, no. This is not getting uh, this is not getting materials it needs. That's why. Okay, so it's actually not a fully saturated line, anyways. So actually, that's that's a uh, basically not my problem, I guess. I mean, actually, it does appear to slightly work, uh, but like these ones occasionally don't have a place to put it. I mean, they seem to work actually just fine. So that that is also a solution to this issue. Just putting two splitters apparently solves the problem I had before. So, you know, one of those things. Uh, coal is still good. So I, I don't know. I have this guy right here just mining out everything that's in here. Actually, there's there's nothing left here except for additional. Is this guy done? Yeah. There's nothing left in here except for like crap here. So we'll just have it. Uh. 
do its thing. Apparently this thing doesn't know how to... Apparently it doesn't know how to remove anything from this line. Which is why we could probably balance it. Uh, let's see here. There you go. Balanced. So this will bear, bring more down and then we'll we'll get rid of the rest of the, the remainder of this copper as well. Alright, so um, now we get to red chips. Now before we do red chips, uh, it's actually we need to double our capacity for making green chips. Which is kind of the reason why we, we made a couple more uh, copper lines here. Um, I don't feel that we need to quite yet uh, do anything odd with... Um, we, we don't need to do anything yet with, um, uh, what, what's the line, um, uh, we don't have to upgrade the copper yet, I think the amount of copper this is going to consume is going to be just fine, but it's definitely going to start make, using up more, more, uh, of everything, basically, so, alright, tool belt finished, look at our tool belt, it's, uh, now double capacity. You actually swap it if you press X, so you can have like a combat loadout, and then you can have a non-combat loadout. So that's exactly what actually what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna just have some turrets and repair packs maybe over here as well. And then our non-combat loadout is gonna be just uh, assembling machines and electric poles and things like that. Uh, so that's that's good. Uh, I'm gonna actually repair these real quick because tired of them being in their own slot. All right, so. There's that, yeah, because things that aren't repaired actually take up their own, like, slot telling you that they're wounded. Kind of weird. And then we have, like, lots of ammunition. Alright. We're also probably going to need to upgrade our power production as well. Uh, is it, yeah. Probably after this. Probably after this. So let's see here. We need iron, iron plates for random things. Uh, I don't think we need too many more splitters, but we'll make a couple. We're also eventually going to make a place to, uh, oops, I am on the wrong side. Yeah, they're having grand old time. So we're also going to eventually make a place to, uh, to make belts and stuff, but that's like, that is not a priority thing, because it's like the easier something is to kind of make yourself, it's might as well make it yourself, I guess, you know, and then eventually change your mind. A little bit later when you get irritated. All right, so there you go. That's um, that's these guys. Oh yeah, research. So uh, like I said before, we're gonna do stack inserters because that upgrade is actually so nice. Uh, you you actually get another bonus upgrade for it, but you you don't you actually really do not need it uh, until much later in the game. So you don't actually have to really worry about a lot of stuff. All right, actually we need a lot of blue inserters. All right, so I mean, I might as well also carry lights on me, honestly, and start lighting up different parts of the base, because we're we're working in the darkness. I actually want to see if this stuff is glitched out, so I'm gonna take one stack of these lights. And unfortunately, it does use the green chips though, so it looks like the green chips are actually being used a lot, and they're being used a lot by down here. So I'm not sure why. Oh, it's just copper doesn't make it here, huh? Why is copper... Oh, because copper is constantly going into ammunition, you see. Um, so this line is not filled up, because I keep taking out uh, rounds out of it. I mean, it, uh, it was using it a little bit here too, but uh, the constant use of it is, is happening over there. So we may actually need more another co one more copper line. But we do have another copper ore line here. We have one here, here too. Well, this is not a very good one. Basically, we may need to make another furnace with the... Uh, with copper in it, because everything is going to need copper, unfortunately. Because as you see, as you can see, the more it kind of comes through, the more it kind of dwindles, which is uh, not good. Because everything we're about to make is going to require a crap ton of copper, so it's unfortunate, yes, but it's also reality of the situation. It's kind of what expensive mode kind of requires out of you. It's a, it kind of says to itself, "Oh, hey, you need." Like a crap ton, and I didn't totally make the light. Well, now the lights aren't on, so... Because it's daytime. Yeah, by the way, it only u uses power and stuff when you actually need it, so, you know. Uh, it's good and, good and a bad thing, I guess. Whatever. Oops. 
Alright. Yeah, so we we gotta we gotta step it up, I guess, with Sonus though. Alright, let's check this out here. Can I just go past these? I totally can just go past both of these. There you go, look at that. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, no, I won't, get, won't make it past that one. Because like, I, I want to limit the amount of uh, uh, iron that I'm wasting on this, on this crap. Alright, so that seems about good. I mean, no copper is making it to the end, basically, here. But this, you know, sometimes you... Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Oh, no, I missed one here. Well, we'll put like two lights over here too. All right, so what's our power production usage right now? All right, so we can just kind of make maybe a couple more things for this. And two boilers. All right, one more. All right, not too bad. I'm gonna just make one more uh, assembly machine. Even though I have like 25, I had a assembly machine one in my inventory, so those things are disgusting. We have to get rid of them. So once again, we're gonna reassure. Our, uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. We're going to make sure that we have enough of this stuff. So we can have up to 40 in this line of uh, of of steam engines here. So. Why are you not powered? Because uh, I didn't hook you up properly. There you go. That's the problem here. Oh, they ran out of ammo. Alright, we gotta head up there. Yeah, we're gonna, since we have like an abundance of turrets with us, we're gonna start working on an assumption that we're gonna... Hey, fuckers. Right, let's just step in the fire, because that's, that's the way I like it. This guy's still full of crude oil. So, since we have an abundance of uh, turrets with us these days, we're going to make a larger... Uh, maybe I shouldn't lock myself inside the wall. It's probably a good idea. I'm going to make more turrets. Because we just have a lot of ammunition, so there's actually no reason for us not to do that. So at least uh, we're going we're gonna to go on the assumption that we're at least 50 rounds in, inside of everything. That's the first thing. And also this ran out of uh, iron too. So we're going to have to figure out something for that. How much more ammo do we have? We're actually gonna need more ammo. Remember those, all those rounds I put back? Uh, <laughs> I now need them. That's okay. Not a whole lot we can do about that. Let's see how our scanning is going. Uh, that's a crappy patch. So, oh, here's a, here you go, 2.7 million. That's a good one, but it's a question of do I wanna go for this side or do I wanna go for this side? But they're both good. They're both good for resources, so that's all that's all good. Alright, so uh, now that we've kind of upgraded that, now we debate to ourselves very heavily, do we need more copper? And the answer is a probably a yes. Uh, which is not a reality I would really want to face at the moment, to be perfectly honest. Also, did I not Oh, I guess I have to do that much sooner. Whatever, it's fine. There you go, actually I'll just do the other side now. Okay, that's all good. So, this copper patch we kind of have to tap into now, and also this thing is out of ammo over here, because we're doing advanced circuits, and advanced circuits requires copper. I, I don't recall if I actually needed to do this, actually, to be honest. To, I, if I needed this much copper. But, you know, who might argue with the game? If you need more copper, you guess you need more copper. Oops, I put in too much over here. So, the reason we do 50 is because if we lose the turret, it's not a huge loss then. 
Because that's actually the thing we're mostly concerned about. If we lose the turret, it's it's a uh, it's a lot of wasted resources in the turret for something we're manually feeding. Um, so that's why I kind of do my system here of uh, I only give them fifty. I'm very strict about that. Or sorry, I, I give them up to fifty. I try. I, well, whatever. There's a range, okay? The range of acceptable losses, you know. Uh, so apparently. Apparently these science machines are having issues because there's not enough gears. Why is there not enough gears? Well, I guess this could be going slightly faster, so let's uh, make, make that into reality. And I mean, we can also feed it some materials as well. The so gears have slowed down. I'm not sure why gears slowed down, but you know, they, they did, I guess, at one point. This is not like a iron problem usually. It's a typically a I don't even know actually. I, I honestly can't tell you what happened here. Uh, it looks like that the iron here is like just not going anywhere anywhere. I even made this one into like a a fancy one here too. So it's going as fast as it can. What can you do? Kind of see the the speed, yeah, because this one's feeding into there. That's why. I mean, it's not much we can do. It's just not much we can do about that. All right, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna say that copper has become a problem now. Um. So we're gonna have to tap into the one up here. I didn't actually think I would have to, but uh, we kind of need it. Well, I mean, you know what? For the time being. Because I think it was maybe me adding this shit that actually did it. That started using more copper, so maybe maybe we don't really need it. Because each of these lights requires like one green chip, so... I'm sure it'll catch up at some point. It's because it it's not really a thing that requires a lot of resources as well. But I guess we'll just make the uh, layout for our red chips, uh, which is fun, so... We'll, we'll just uh, start taking care of that. I think I'm debating here. actually hate this so much. You get powered over here. I don't actually like it being here. So we, we need to actually add some space here somehow. So this is actually not incredibly space efficient. Um, fuck, seriously. I'm trying to, I'm trying to squeeze more into this. Whoops. Because we want to have our red chips come out of here somewhere. I don't know how, but they're going to. Cause it, like I can't move anything anywhere. It's the problem I have now. <laughs> oh fucking shit, dude. Um. All right, this is the. Actually, can I just go over here to up there? No. Maybe I can. I just have to do this. I'm trying to I'm trying to add some more space for things to be able to leave because I want to have the red chips come into here this side so it means I have to have space over here for it to somehow it's just this fucking disaster that I've I've created here honestly I mean the the more the be, the better solution would be to have this this these chips come over here somewhere Oh my god, what have I done? Alright. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is actually fine. Maybe this is perfectly fine. You know what? I actually have no, no problems with this at all. This is actually, this is good. Because I'm freeing up space in the middle here. Now, I know it's, I know it's weird, because it's like, yeah, what the fuck am I doing, but... Uh... I think I may have not put this in the right direction. One of these is definitely going in the wrong direction. Okay, now that now they seem fine. Okay, so there you go. This is actually this is actually much better, believe it or not. So now we now we have a, a line for advanced circuits to basically come over here somehow. 
So advanced circuits are interesting. So we start with uh, having a line this way and a line this way. So if you look at advanced circuits, they require a couple things. Uh, where are they? So they're used in a lot of things, but they require plastic bars, copper cables, and green, uh, green chips. Green chips are luckily something we can just kind of grab off of this line, uh, so that's not a problem. Uh, so we're going to have just some elaborate system where, I mean, it's not going to be elaborate in the slightest. We're just going to kind of just steal it off of this line. Something like this. Boom, we got our green, green chips right there. So we got green chips. Um, that's not the problem. Um, the thing we need is copper as well, so copper is going to have to once again come off of this line, unfortunately. Uh, this is why I'm basically saying to myself right now, like, I think we're going to need another copper line, because this one's overworked as it is. And this one's about to, like, use up basically the remainder of this stuff. I'm watching some of it die down. I mean, some people have said to me, uh, that they usually put the, the miners really close, but then you start having things like this, where it's like, it's using it more and more, so, I mean, it's the same issue, it's just whatever. However you pick your poison, however you want to do it. So, there's that. Um, let's see here. He's maybe coming closer, but I don't know. Uh, let's keep going with stack inserter bonuses. What the fuck? They may have a base here now. They may actually have to deal with that. Actually, where'd I put my wheels? They're right there. Okay, that is way too much for just a small thing, actually. Because I see them, I see them, like, congesting there, too. It's fucking awful. Alright. Why? So, steel's also becoming an issue. Did I fuck up steel somehow? No. Steel just is always slow because of the fact it's going, it's making flamethrower turrets, too. It's just kind of how steel works. Alright, we're going to just check up here. Ah, oh, there's a base. Uh, let's do some. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna say hello. Alright. As you can see, they love me. Let's do some more here. Alright, biter problem solved. There you go. Only took uh, a couple rounds of ammunition. There you go. Alright. See, that's that's what that's what keys me into these things, clues me into these things, because I'm just like, well, they're, they're certainly conjugating, they must have a new base there. Uh, let's see how the let's see how the lights look now. Okay, we can't see the lights because we have to actually be there. For some reason, radar vision doesn't show me that. It's weird. There you go. That's how your lights work. They work like this. So they're actually not bad. They're actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna definitely need more copper because it's being used by ammunition and shit like the fucking piece of crap. All right, so. We'll work on that in a minute, but we're going to just make the layout for this first, because I don't see a reason not to. Alright, so, the way it works is, so we need, remember, we go by the one per second system. Uh, we ignore the fact that the crafting speed is whatever. We just go, it's simple. So if we want to, let's say the crafting speed is one. So if we want to make one per second, we need to, need to have six uh, assembly machines making a, a circuit, and eight copper cables per second. And that means uh, that this makes two, so you kind of divide that in half, and you kind of need four or something. It's fucking weird. Because um, we want one copper cable per second, so it makes two. Uh, it makes two. It makes two every half a second, right? So then you actually only need two copper cable machines, right? And then you need uh, some things making plastic bars, and that's it. Plastic bars are usually never the issue uh, for me, so. We have these guys right here. Um, so I'll debate how to do this. This is literally fucking awful. Every time, man. There we go. We'll just we'll just have that go like that. So 
Uh, we're gonna need copper cables too, but the important thing is we need to figure out how to get cop copper over here, like that. Uh, so we're gonna have to... Because remember, it's always better to feed machines directly. Uh, whoops. And I, I, I could actually make a couple more of these. Fuck you, rocks. Like rocks getting in the way. Who do they think they are? Alright, so you have the copper going here. And we have a machine going there. So this is kind of how... This is my new way of doing this, actually. I did not do this before. Alright, so... We have two right here, so we kind of... Oops, it's actually the other way. And also, we need to, uh, they need to be fast inserters. Fortunately, it wants me to make more green chips. Hope you do. Or it's gonna make sound manually. Uh, something like this. Uh, it's not totally not going there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that, now it's going there. So now it's gonna get all the green chips it needs. And once again, so they, they need to feed uh, three machines each because that's how that's the weird ratio that they decided for this in the expensive mode. Um, and does it actually? Yeah, the yellow ones can work here. And last but not least, uh, I guess we'll just put this on one side. Last but not least, something to take off the, from the belt over here. I guess I may have jumped the gun with uh, how long I'm going to make this. Because we, we don't actually need that many advanced circuits yet. Uh, we we actually only need a few. Oh good, it's uh, making inserters now. Which means I ran out, which means I have to get more of them. And there you go, that's your advanced circuits. Which is our gateway to advanced science and things like that. So it's kind of nice. So we're going to do something like this. Yeah, this guy's gonna come over here. Uh, actually, I guess uh, this sucks. Actually, so actually, no, no this is fine. This is actually per this is actually perfectly acceptable because the 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 red arm inserters will put it on the opposite side. So this actually works out like way better than you ever like ever would have dreamed of, or I would have ever dreamed of. Someone dreamed of. So. And there you go, that's, that's uh, red ships coming down the, now the main bus line. Just like that. And we can just kind of put it all the way here, just for no reason. Alright, there you go. So now we don't have to worry about that anymore. That's why we have a bus line, uh, so we can just do things like that and not have to worry about it. Uh, so that's that. Uh, now, for the next part. Uh, well, first off, let me get rid of this, these shitty ass magazines, because I don't want this crap. Like we've we've ascended way past this stuff, so we can just use them in the, the machine that they'll it'll, it'll eat them up eventually. So that's that. Uh, we can put this now in. Uh, well, uh, we can power, but uh, I mean, obviously, it's not going to do anything right now because we're we're still missing some key, very key components. And this is tileable too. Tileable is actually like making things tileable is really good. I should probably start also using the 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 new poles, but I'm really lazy because I have like a I think I have a stack of wood with me somewhere. I mean, I, I obviously do, because I wouldn't be able to make uh, this many electric poles, so we'll just do that right now. Okay, maybe maybe these need to be faster inserters. I mean, they won't once we get the upgrade, so... So, unfortunately, now there's another problem, and it's that stuff, but we're going to still... Um, we're gonna still wait on that because I'm still deciding on how to handle some of this crap. What's your problem? All right. Well, it looks like the bugs have uh, breached over there, sort of ish. And welcome to running into trees. But luckily, we can just cart our car away over to fix things now. Actually, this is this is also one of those ones where we can now upgrade these. As well. Fuck, seriously? Don't worry, we can make one more. There you go. Alright. Just give it, like, I don't know, a little bit more than that. There you go. I actually hate this layout, but that's fine. 
usually, as I said, usually when things run out, it's because they actually run out of ammo. But we're kind of working towards not having ammo issues anymore, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't see any of the congestion around here, so we're, we're good. As you can see, most of the miners aren't actually doing anything, and actually the petroleum gas and stuff is now full. Now, by the way, this is actually an interesting mechanic that you guys need to kind of realize. Um, you see this? It, um, it actually doesn't do anything with... Uh, you see how there's petroleum gas in here? It doesn't know what to do with it, because for some reason we have, like... Uh, so every every th every time it uses... Um, with, the effect, with the recipe we have, it makes 40 petroleum, 30 heavy oil, and uh, 30 light oil. So it has filled up the petroleum gas um, storage tank, and, and now doesn't know where to put anything else. So it has actually completely stopped. It will not make any more petroleum gas or anything like that until we get rid of this somehow. But don't worry, we have a solution of how to get rid of it. Uh, because guess what uh, plastic bars need? Um, they need coal and petroleum gas. How about that? So uh, we're going to pipe it over somehow and probably through just following that line there. So it's good. So I mean, th these are fine. So we're going to just start piping it over. So remember, it, we can't make it touch because um, we can't we can't make the pipes touch because uh, apparently pipes are um, uh, they they just they don't swing that way. So uh, we have to go the other way. Well, we have to go kind of around this stuff. Uh, it's actually better for us to line it up so we can get past these easier with our car. And unfortunately, there's this. There you go. Ah, it just kind of works out, huh? So we're basically almost there. Uh, debating how to get... We want to get to the other side of that, so... Uh, we're probably not going to need any more green chips for now, so we don't have to worry too much about that. It's kind of the spaghetti of Factorio. Oops, I messed this up. Alright. So we did pretty well here. I'm going to kind of bring these guys down now. Uh, actually, I hate this. We gotta, we gotta change this, because I'm, I'm actually looking, I'm seeing biter corpses here. And you know what that means? It means that uh, they're gonna fucking murder my... They're gonna fucking murder this shit when I... Uh, least expect it. You know what we're gonna do? Maybe we'll just make it go through up here. Alright. Something like this. This is like, this is awful though, because of the way I've, I've spaced this out. Um, I hate it so much, but uh, we cannot do anything about it. We just have to deal with it. Uh, so, yeah, that's fine. If, as long as we can bring it maybe up here, but I need to bring coal over here somehow. Hey, look, there's some coal. What a Christmas miracle, but problem is, how do we bring this coal to down here? Well, guess what? Fucking Factorio. Actually, no, we don't need, we don't even actually have to care about that. So, uh, I'm going to show you some wizardry. Actually, you've already seen this wizardry. And I, I didn't even do the wizardry right. So, if you do this, it, just br it brings down just the coal. Uh, of course, at some point, we're going to want to extend this steel line. Actually, no, we're not, I think, uh, because uh, steel sucks, no. Uh, more because we're going to be probably at electrical furnaces by that point, so. Probably. All right. Hey, look, coal. It's uh, here. There you go. I got, got coal. So what else does... Uh, what else do we need? This is very kind of spaghetti-ish. Uh, I, I, even I recognize this fact. Um, plastic bars. Where's plastic bars? So it actually makes a lot of plastic bars, uh, believe it or not. Where's the plastic bars, though? So it just needs petroleum and coal. All right, so, so to finish this off, uh, we're going to do something like... Uh, I guess, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't quite decided, but it actually uses these machines to make plastic bars. So one of the sides actually has to have petroleum coming into it. Um, how to get that going here is a very good question. 
Uh, I'll probably do something like this. Luckily, we don't have to worry about pressure too much right now. Uh, let's just bring it through here. All right. I know this is kind of weird, but yeah. All right, here we go. We got petroleum over here. You whoop de do, and we can get this last up insert upgrade. All right, we got that going, and then uh, so it takes like how much coal does it take? In it takes like one coal, but then makes two plastic bars for some reason. Uh, simple, simple, simple stuff. So we need to have fast inserters on one side, and uh, not so fast inserters on the other side. Actually, I can just make this uh, better. Alright, a little bit complicated to get this going, I know, but we did do it. We did get the job done. Alright, and now we're not quite done yet, because now we need to somehow combine uh, combine the two. So usually how I do it is I do just splitters. We'll see how that works out. Kind of the same way you see me doing coal is how I do this. Oh, it needs green chips, huh? So it won't make too many right now, but I'm I'm, tr I'm actually like I know this is long as shit, but I'm trying to show you how this all works before I uh, cut it out because I was actually gonna just go and right now make some more uh, basically basically just tap into some more copper because we actually really desperately need it apparently. So I didn't want to show you that on screen. I mean, you don't get to see the capacity bonus, what that does at the end, but I think you guys get the idea. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be fun for the whole family. Apparently Iron Plates is, once again, in desperate need. So, yeah, spaghetti... Spaghetti's everywhere. But there you go. There's your green chips. So as you can see, we have one line worth of uh, one line worth of green chips, one line worth of uh, plastic chips. It will take whatever it needs, and then we get copper coming from the center, and we should see our first red chips coming out of the alpha line right now. There you go. I don't know what the hell this guy's problem is, but actually he made it, so it's fine. So that's that's pretty much uh, red circuits for you. That's all the materials that it needs to to get going, which is uh, not. An unsubstantial amount, and uh, I know I fucked this up, but this is why we're gonna just eat this all up right now. Fuck you, game. Uh, there you go. And that's uh, that's it. We we actually don't have to concern ourselves anymore with this. Well, we do have to concern ourselves with bring more copper onto the line because this is not enough. Because uh, you can see, it just doesn't make just nothing makes it over here. So. Where am I going to put this extra furnace line? That's a good freaking question. Um, and as you can see, the, the coal is starting to run out. And coal will become a serious problem. So we got to tap into that down here. Um, but it looks like the bugs are uh, down there as well. What's evolution at? Uh, almost 0.5. It's still not bad. It starts to get really bad a little bit later. But this is not actually that bad. So... Um, we're gonna tap into that coal line as well. I'm not sure. I, I may just do both off screen because it's just like it's just a matter of making a couple turrets up there, um, and then tapping into the copper. You've seen me do several times as well. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing that bad up here. So let's see how the uh, radars did. Okay, so radars just found us some decent shit around here, but we don't have to concern ourselves too much. All right, so. Next episode, we tap into... Uh, I will already have tapped into the coal. I will already have tapped into that. And if there's any other research, maybe I'll get, like, solar. Probably get solar. And by the way, we're not actually using solar, really. Um, it, but it's still something that will be convenient to have. And, like, batteries and other shit like that. So, um, I, 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 I mean, it doesn't really matter if I do these researches on screen or not. Uh, the result is the same. We should probably also start heading for laser turrets. But as you can see, batteries are needed for this as well. So, Oh, and steel plates. So, um, fucking ripperonious for this stuff. 
Actually, the, the steel plates are actually starting to get backed up. It's just the ammunition keeps using them. But they're, it's not using it anymore. It's just now using it for this. So actually, steel should get backed up very soon. Uh, it should basically have like an, a, a great abundance of this stuff. So, you know, we should be okay. Also, two flamethrower turrets in every area would have been nice, but I didn't do that. Yeah, we got to push, we got to move this stuff up too and some other shit like that. So, all right. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.